clenching and grinding, and I think some of you are really aware of that you probably do it. And do you want? Do you not know how to how to control it during the day? Because often it's a subconscious way of doing it. You know, it's a subconscious habit. The easiest way of controlling it during the day is use the tip of your tongue on the top of your palate. It drops your jaw. The clenching automatically involves keeping the teeth together, is it? That's right. Oh, okay. yeah. So, uh, yes, what happens is that a lot of people are just used to going around like this. And then they suddenly find something stressful and you can actually feel and see the muscles twitch. And the reason for that is the front teeth, four teeth, cannot clench. However, the canine backwards are designed to clench. So the moment they touch, they'll clench. So if you do this, you can't clench. Because the forces here are four times more. You can actually really go that. So if you put your tongue, props your tongue, a uh, jaw, and you can't clench. That's a very, very simple way of starting controlling. So if you're patient, you find they're very stressed and all the rest of it. Check and see whether they, that's one of the things. Now ask them to do this. And sometimes you ask them to do the, if, if they don't like doing this or keeping their mouth like this for long enough and they prefer, it's only you're telling them what they like. And that's the clenching. And of course, that's the daytime time. What happens at night, of course, is a separate thing altogether. Well, the clenching could be caused by illness in itself. Yes. It's, it's often basically stressed in any form. Yeah. So yeah. it's either pain or stress <coughs> or anxiety or anything. So at the end of the day, your body's trying to just recharge and cope and it'll probably go. Yeah, so. um, 